That breaking news overnight. Two critical races for governor in Virginia and New Jersey. We're live in both states this morning tracking the results. It's too close to call right now in New Jersey and in Virginia. Republican Glenn Youngkin has defeated Democrat Terry McAuliffe. A big night for the GOP and alarm bell for President Biden and the Democrats heading into next year's midterm elections. Stephanie Ramos starts us off in Fairfax, Virginia. Good morning, Stephanie. George, good morning. Republican Glenn Youngkin has never held elected office, but he sold himself as a political outsider while trying to rally suburban voters around hot button issues like how to handle the discussion of racism in schools and mask mandates. And it worked. This morning, Republicans celebrating a huge win in Virginia. All righty, Virginia, we won this thing! Republican gubernatorial candidate Glenn Youngkin declaring victory overnight, becoming the first Republican to win a Virginia statewide race in 12 years. My fellow Virginians, this is our moment. The race between Democrat Terry McAuliffe and Youngkin widely seen as a referendum on President Biden's first year in office, with Youngkin keeping Donald Trump at arm's length and focusing on voter fears concerning jobs and education. Together, we will change the trajectory of this Commonwealth. Youngkin's speech starting at almost the exact moment Air Force One touched down. Biden returning from an international climate summit, ignoring reporters' questions on Democrat Terry McAuliffe's loss. Youngkin's win likely aided by voters' negative views of President Biden's performance. Exit polls showing 54 percent of voters disapprove of his work in office, even though Biden won the state by 10 percentage points just last year. Overnight, McAuliffe leaving his campaign headquarters before the winner was declared. We still got a lot of votes to count, so we're going to continue to count the votes because every single Virginian deserves to have their vote counted. McAuliffe's defeat, a stinging blow for Democrats and providing a roadmap for the Republican Party as they aim to regain control of Congress in next year's midterm elections. We were at the Yunkin campaign headquarters last night. Yunkin and his crowd of supporters celebrating up until about 2 o'clock this morning. And Yunkin calling his victory a defining moment. Robin. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.